Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Puna Haley Soriano versus Miguel Beza. Verse, not versus, whatever that was. Puna, Puna Haley Soriano, nine wins, four losses, one and four. One and four in his last five fights. This was a guy that was undefeated. Didn't fight great competition in his two first two fights in the UFC, but he still had spectacular results. Then the UFC decided, oh, Brendan Allen? A lot of experience? Man, let's test him. Now, maybe in theory, because he lost to Chris Curtis and Sean Strickland by finish, oh, Putin Haley's a finisher? Okay, but he's nowhere near Sean Strickland. He's nowhere near Chris Curtis. So I, I, I don't understand the logic on that aspect. But like I said, one in four in his last five fights. And the one win that he's had is against Dolce Lungambola, who's even worse record in the UFC. Not a good fighter. Big power, but not a good fighter. 31 years old, 5'11", with a 72 and a half inch reach. Fighting Miguel Carmel Thunder Beza, 10 and 3, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Having a finish over Matt Brown. Actually, I think he went 3-0 and in the UFC. Yes, he did. Beat Hector Aldana, leg kicks and ground and pound in 2019. Beat Matt Brown with a left hook in the second round after getting really badly hurt. Then beat Takashi Sato by arm triangle in the second round back in 2020. And then lost a very winnable fight against Ponzinibbio. Lost to Chaos Williams, kept making the same mistake his coaches and everybody kept telling him to stop doing it. And then lost to Andre Filio. Got caught badly, badly in that one and lost there. Was scheduled to fight Diego Lima, Jeremiah Wells, Mickey Gall, Yoan Lanessi, which is a guaranteed win for him. Jake Matthews, hard fight there. And now he's fighting Putin Haley Soriano, and they're both on, you know, one and four in his last five, you know, two and three in his last three on a three fight losing streak. This is going to be, I think, a really, really good fight. And I see Carmel Thunder coming back. Getting back on track. You know, two-inch reach advantage, three inches in height. I like Miguel Baez in this one. I think he does a really, really good work. Watch him be a little bit more strategic, like box a little bit, but also look for the takedowns. Looking to put a lot of pressure as the fight goes on, trying to get Soriano to break, but not to go too risky, not to, you know, necessarily brawl, I would say, like slugfest brawl, but look for him to exchange a little bit. But his main thing... Look for him to go into the ground. So submission would be a great bet on this one. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.